Hey everybody, it's TR. I'm back with another RV how-to video and today I am installing a remote hours meter uh, on my generator. Okay, I totally admit this is a completely nerdy thing to do. And it's something I've been wanting to do for quite a while because I never, you know, I didn't want to have to go and open the uh, hood and get in there and look at the generator to see how many hours I had been running it. Really, since I put the solar on, I haven't run the generator a lot, but I have been wanting to do this. I'd had the parts for it for quite a while, but I was kind of waiting because it's a real pain to get into the power panel up here. There's all kinds of wires and stuff, and uh, it, it's just a pain in the butt. So I figured uh, I would do all the projects that I needed to do in this panel all at once. Got a couple other projects I'm doing. I had to replace a speaker. Uh, if you look over there, there's a speaker that uh, was blown. It was rattling really bad. And uh, I guess I listened to my music too loud, but uh, I had to replace that. I'm also installing a Victron Energy battery monitoring system. You see it there, I've already got it installed. And so uh, I thought, well, while I'm in here, I might as well get all my projects done at the same time. And so in this case, we're uh, actually installing this, uh, this meter right here, okay? And all it is is just an hours meter. Uh, it's very much like the one that you're going to see inside of the generator itself. And it's just simple as running some wire down there and hooking it up correctly. In this panel, I have mains power. And what mains power is, is your 110, 220 type power. I have 110 volts up in this panel because there's two remote switches in the panel. Uh, one for a block heater, which is an outlet back in my electrical bay. And then also I have one uh, that to, for the old water heater. Uh, my old water heater you could run on AC or uh, propane. Uh, my current water heater is an instant uh, water heater and it only uses propane. So I abandoned that circuit a long time ago. But I'm using that power to drive these meters that I'm going to show you here in a bit. And that'll be in another RV how-to video uh, to follow. So uh, be watching for that as well. That reminds me while I'm thinking about it. Be sure and subscribe and like and do all those fun things. I have all kinds of uh, fun RV how-to videos that I've been working on over the last little while. Plus, I have a huge catalog of RV how-to videos. Everything from installing a new roof, adding solar to your rig, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, fixes and repairs. I live in a 14-year-old RV, so there's always something broken. Always something that needs to be fixed or repaired. Or in this case, upgraded or just additions that are maybe kind of nerdy. That's just the way I am. So, let's get with it. Anyway, uh, to install this uh, remote uh, generator meter, if you will... Uh, it's really pretty straightforward. You can see I already have it installed here. Uh, and basically, this is a $7 part I got it from Amazon. Uh, no big deal on that. Uh, as a safety reminder, anytime you're working around mains power, it's a good idea to neutralize them, turn them off. Uh, prevents shock and all kinds of uh, shorting and various other things. And so I've already gone back and turned off the breaker that is for the mains power in this panel. Everything else is 12 volts, and I don't think it's too big a deal, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. But you can see here, I just uh, have had this panel open. I just kind of jam these uh, <laughs> wire cutters in here to keep the panel in place. And so I'll have to put this camera down for a minute. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to pop this out. Pull this panel out very carefully. So we can show you what we got here. So uh, just real quick, this is the back of that meter. Okay, this is the back of the hours meter. What I've done here is I've got a ground. So if you see here, that's a negative side, right? And so I just have a ground. I've just had a ground in here uh, with the rest of my grounds. And then what I've done is, is that I have one of these gray wires here. Uh, this one right here, it looks like, that runs outside to the generator. Uh, it just runs up in here into this mess of cables and down through this pillar right here, right down through this column right here. These come off, it's really easy to pull that off. And it runs out to the generator. And so I'm going to tap into the uh, power for the meter at the generator. And uh, we're going to see if this will work. So you can see I already have it all installed. I've got it nice and neatly tied up with zip ties. Okay. That's to keep everything in place so things don't come loose. Okay. So that's pretty much the panel. Um, the install was pretty straightforward. I just used a utility knife to cut the panel itself and, to the size that I needed for the meter. So let's go outside now and let's install the uh, outside piece which is just simply one wire. It's only going to have 12 volts DC on it uh, that runs the hours meter in the generator itself. And I'm just remoting that in here to this panel 
And uh, so when I start the generator, it'll run that meter, okay? So let's go outside, let's take care of that piece of it, then we'll come back in, we'll put this panel back in, and uh, start up the generator and see if it works. So I know it's pretty dark out here, but uh, all I have to do is I gotta pull this cable, which looks like, uh, let's see, can I get to it here? Alrighty, fight my way in here. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> okay, I gotta get that wire. Now I got the wire pulled back to where I can at least get to it and uh, pull it up to where I need it in the generator. All right, <laughs> a little bit of hard work there to get that cable pulled up here and uh, get it to where I need it to be in the generator cover here. Let's uh, open this cover. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right. Sorry about the lighting here, but uh, I'm kind of shooting into the sun this morning. Anyway, uh, this is the existing meter here. And so all I'm gonna do is come in here. Here's the back of that meter. So we've got the uh, ground right there, and then I've got uh, hot wires coming in here. So when the generator's running, there's voltage on this circuit right here. And that's what we're gonna use to drive the remote meter because all we need is uh, 12 volts DC which is what's going to be on this when the generator is running and uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get that uh, tapped in there so if you look right here uh, there is a grommet and I'm just going to bring the wire through and morning, morning. how are you I'm doing well. how about you good thanks get out here before it gets too hot <laughs> yeah, oh, I know it. so I'm just going to measure in here I'll give myself a little slack I'm going to have to pull all that cable through. What I'm doing here is, is that I'm just going to use these little taps. They're just these little plastic widgets. And I don't know if you can see. Can you see down inside of there? Let's see if I can get that turned. There's just a piece of metal in there that's conductive. And all you do is snap it over one of the lines. Take the shield off this. Uh, this is just 18 gauge. Uh, shielded bell wire they call it um, but it's got two conductors it's got a aluminum shield I'm just gonna clean it up I'm not using the black wire uh, because I don't need it I'm only using one so I'm just gonna trip clean that off now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this and push that all the way in like that. I'm going to mash down that crimp. So it's kind of tight. So let's get in here and get on that first. Let's make sure that's in there. This is kind of tricky. And I'm going to give it a tug test. Let's give it a tug test. It's in there nice and tight. I'll just clip that retainer ring back over that. And now, now we'll just take and plug the spade terminal back on. And all I'm going to do is just come in here. And I'll just come down here. I'm just going to zip tie this. See that? Yeah. 
All right. Just clean these up. Looking good. Pull down the rest of that slack. Now let's put the cover back on. Should be good to go. If you get the cover in the right place. There we go. So that should take care of that piece of it. Uh, we're going to have to wait here about 10 minutes. Uh, I'm going to wait till 8 o'clock and then we'll start the generator up and we'll test it. Okay, so we got the panel temporarily put back together. I, I'm just stuck in these in here because I've got more work to do in that panel. I'll be working on that here in a little bit. But uh, let's see if it works. Let's start the generator. We're just preheating it here a little bit. Um, probably what I need to do is see if I've got voltage there. So I'm going to have to pull that panel back out. And get my meter. DC volts, 20. So I was measuring the voltage on these two pins here, the positive and negative on the back of the hours meter uh, with my DC voltmeter. And it was just too hard to hold the camera and take the measurement at the same time. So uh, I'm inserting this here for clarity. So we've got 13.5 volts, which is perfect. And so that means that meter should be working. Okay, so uh, it looks to me like it's working just perfect. Um, I'm getting some hours reading here. I've been running for about uh, five minutes or so. Uh, the meter reads in tenths of hours, which is of course six minutes. And so every six minutes we should see a, the uh, tenths number roll. And uh, we're just watching it here real quick and it looks like it's almost up to two. So we've run about six minutes or so. I'm gonna let this run for a few more minutes uh, because I'm gonna do my generator maintenance run. Uh, and I usually let it run for about 10 or 15 minutes. I need to go pull the power though because I do want to run uh, the generator under load. So I'm going to run outside real quick and pull the shore power and uh, let the uh, generator run uh, on full load. I'm going to go start the ACs and that kind of stuff. But that's about it. Hey, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. If you found value in this video, I'd appreciate your thumbs up. Those are always great. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and do all those fun social things. Uh, you're probably better at it than I am, but I do appreciate it when you do it. Questions or comments, make them below. I'm always happy to get back to you with questions or comments. Uh, if you think this is a little too nerdy, well, that's okay. I'm a nerd, but uh, and, and I'm dang proud of it. But it's time to go. I thank you for watching. Until we get together the next time for another RV How-To video, peace.